What's up everyone and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today we've got one against Callum or Hoodlum Scrafty, a Pokemon YouTuber here on YouTube. If you haven't checked out his channel, be sure to check it out in the description below. He also does X and Y Wi-Fi battles and a bunch of other stuff that you guys can check out. Pokemon stuff, so uh, be sure to check out his channel in the description. Either way, uh, this was on my live stream whenever I did that last. It was whenever I uploaded the last battle. Um, I battled a bunch of you guys as well as some YouTubers, and this is one of them, which is Hoodlum Scrafty. You can see my team is pretty standard stuff. I've still got Rodom Wash, Excadrill, uh, but I've got two new team members here. Greninja, which is a pretty standard Pokemon right now. I just really, really like Protean, man. It's such a cool ability, and uh, I never really had a Greninja on my team for some reason. I know it's really standard, but I've always wanted a Greninja. And the other one is Mawile Mega, which is apparently super common. I didn't really know that. I just kind of like Mawile, and I always wanted it to get an evolution, and this is the closest thing, so I've got Mega Mawile, which you can see Callum also has, and a bunch of other people told me that, I don't know, it's pretty standard apparently, but this is an awesome battle, so let's get to it! Yeah, apparently I talk way too much at the introduction of my battles. I don't really know, man. It's kind of the chance to tell you all what's been going on. But I didn't even tell you, I'm, I'm still sick. You can probably tell, but we're gonna go into the outrageous Carbink here just to do our standard stuff. You know, I've gone back to the Carbink. I think one of my last battles I had Mamoswine, but we're back to the Carbink. Uh, all he really does is set up Stealth Rocks, Reflect, and uh, Light Screen is the last one. He's actually got a Dusclops lead, which is not very common as far as I know. I don't think uh, Dusclops is in OU. Probably got that Eviolite running. I don't really know. I haven't seen any Dusclops ever. I've seen a Dusk Noir, and apparently Dusclops is better, but he's just gonna Will-O-Wisp us, and, uh, he's got Nightshade, which is eventually gonna take us out. I really don't know what to do with Carbink right now. I, I need a new lead. Uh, I don't know. I like him. He's an uncommon Pokemon. He's outrageous. Very, very outrageous. He survives a lot of stuff, but not Nightshade because it does a solid damage every single time, so... Yeah, it's kind of different, but usually it can tank up a lot. Uh, the Reflect and Light Screen are not going to affect that Nightshade, so we get to set up both of them. At this point, I know that he's going to die, so I'm just going to go for the Gyro Ball, try and do some damage to that Substitute, but of course that's going to do nothing to it. So Wednesday is going to take us out with the Nightshade, the Wednesday on the Friday, um, after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, even though I didn't upload a video yesterday, happy today, because I'm sure that people are still off of school, so... Yeah, have a happy one today. Uh, so I'm gonna go out to Slurp now. I may, I don't know, I could have switched out there on Carbink um, instead of Gyro Balling, but I don't know. He really didn't have much else to do, so I just sacrificed him. He's obviously gonna go for the will o -Wisp here just to whittle us down a little bit. Um, I don't really know what else he could have gone for since he's already got the Substitute off. He has no damage on him right now, so he's gonna go for that will o -Wisp, burn us, and uh, that's gonna be kind of a problem. At least it doesn't half our attack since Greninja's a special beast, but Dusclops is a tanking beast, and He's gonna just take that Dark Pulse like a man. His one eye is just unfazed by the power of Dark Pulse. Um, so yeah, since I really don't know what Dusclops does, I have learned a new lesson here in that, or well, I guess what it usually does. Much like a lot of Ghost types, I guess, it's just got that, uh, the Pain Split, which he's gonna Pain Split away us. It did a lot less than I expected. I really, I don't get how Pain Split works, man. It's one of those moves where I'm just like, I never remember. There seem to be a lot of moves like that. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Either way, uh, he's gonna switch out to Mawile, which you'll see, because of Steel no longer resisting the Dark type, um, he's only gonna resist our Dark Pulse with just the Fairy type, so it's still gonna do a massive amount of damage, especially because, you know, Pokemon don't immediately Mega Evolve, but now the Floss is gonna Mega Evolve, he's already at half damage, which is really good for us, because Mega Mawile is such a beast, you'll see the Sucker Punch, well, we're pretty much dead already, but he's got Sucker Punch, which with the huge power ability just does insane amounts of damage, so... Yeah, uh, Slurp, not really a good example of that because he was already at 13, but we're gonna go to Shooting Star who's gonna break the mold. This is how you always remember, Shooting Stars, only Shooting Stars break the mold. Except there's other Pokemon with Mold Breaker, but you know, just keep that in mind, man. Shooting Stars break the mold. So he's gonna go for his uh, Rotom Wash here, also named Washington. I don't really know if he had his name Washington for a while because uh, mine was named by someone on the stream, so that was probably it. I guarantee there's a ton of people out there with Rodoms named Washington. I really have no idea. I couldn't think of a nickname, so I was on stream and I'm like, hey, you guys, nicknamed by my Washington, and it became Washington. But yeah, the Mold Breaker, of course, is going to take that out. I really don't get that one. I guess he uh, either forgot that it had Mold Breaker or didn't notice or something happened there, but 
I have a Zora's Dance boosted Excadrill right now, which is very, very useless because I have um, a Choice Specs now. Since he tricked us, we no longer have Citrus Berry. I can't Rock Slide him. So yeah, he actually goes for the Pursuit there, which I was not really expecting. Uh, Honchkrow is another Pokemon like Dusclops that I don't see very often. All I know is that they usually have Heat Wave, and that's just because this one time I ran into one and it had Heat Wave, so I don't know. Uh, apparently it said it's kind of Sucker Punch Pursuit, and... That's all I really get to see in this battle, but he's going to go out to his Wednesday once again, which even with the Stealth Rocks damage, this Volt Switch will not take it out. Dusclops, a very, very tanky Pokemon. Uh, Carbink is kind of the same deal, I guess, as far as leads go, but because he had Nightshade, we didn't really get to show that off. But there's been plenty of other battles where you see Carbink just eats moves alive, like it does not care. Now here comes my, I guess, special Pokemon for this battle. It is Chinchino, Poncho the Chinchino. You guys may remember him uh, back in the wee little days of YouTube. Not really, but about a year ago when I did my black and white LP, uh, my very first LP that I guess went really big and kind of launched my channel, um, I ran or I had a Chinchino on my team. So I decided to bring it into this X and Y Wi-Fi team just because I think Chinchino is such a cool Pokemon, especially with his hidden ability, Skill Link, which will every single time hit five times. But you see he's got the imposter Ditto. He's going to show off the power of Poncho right now. You see Ditto is showing off the power of Poncho, the Tail Slap doing massive damage. I'm actually going to miss the Rock Blast there, which is very unfortunate. I do not want Poncho to die right now though, so I'm going to switch out to Shooting Star, break the mold, doesn't really matter, I know that he is going to die from the Tail Slap. Um, it doesn't do any damage, so if Shooting Star had been even a little bit higher HP, we would have survived, but the Pursuit from Honstro just did so much freaking damage, man. That was crazy, but yeah, um, I decided to sacrifice Shooting Star there because I want to keep Poncho alive. And this Ditto, I don't really know a lot about Dittos either, but I did learn that they usually just run Choice Scarf. They pretty much just copy your Pokemon and make it faster. Uh, so I'm going to go into my own Mega Mawile here, which is Dinner. And we get, a, we get to learn a little lesson here. There's a lesson to be learned from this battle, guys. You can see the Floss and the Dinner are out. I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, and I believe I go for the Swords Dance, knowing that he's going to switch or just die. I'm not really sure. Maybe I went for the Sucker Punch. That would fail, obviously. No, I do go for the Swords Dance, knowing that, you know, he's either going to switch or die. Uh, so, or wait, because, yeah, the Tail Slap was not going to do very much damage at all. So he's going to go for the Sucker Punch himself. Going to get a really good amount of damage there. Uh, he actually gets a critical hit, which I don't know if it matters later on in the battle, but definitely did more damage, um, which we're going to go for the Play Rough on and take out the Mega Mawile. You learn the lesson that you should always floss after dinner. See that? That was always floss after dinner. Somebody said that on the stream. It was great. All right. Imposter Ditto is coming out back again, um, which I'm just going to sucker punch that thing to do as much damage as I can. I know that it's got Choice Scarf, so it's definitely going to be faster than us. I did not want to just die, so I went for the sucker punch, trying to do some damage to it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a lesson learned. You know, you always floss after dinner until that dinner is Ditto. And then, you know, Thanksgiving dinner eat two heads for the price of one, it's, it's Mawile, but yeah, somehow Mawile, even though with Choice Scarf, uh, he's still really, really slow, so Rodom is going to outspeed that, take it out with the Volt Switch, and I am going to get to switch out back to my man, Poncho, at this point, I've only got two Pokemon left, I believe we're even, two and two right now, and he's going to go out for his own signature here, it is Nifty, the Scrappy, I guess they're not really signature Pokemon, I'm just saying that at one point, I, I had a I don't know, I really like Chinchino, it was kind of a mascot of my channel at one point, and his channel being Hoodlum Scrafty, I guess, you could guess what the mascot of that channel is. No? Do you need a hint? Here's a hint, it's, it's on the screen, it's shiny, it's great, but yeah, I missed my first tail slap. Thankfully, I don't know how that happened, well, it was kind of crazy, he went for the dragon dance, and I know that Chinchino is just so, so fast. He's got the Choice Scarf, he's got a ridiculous, like, 115 base speed, so he's definitely going to outspeed even with the dragon dance up. Uh, Scrappy not being very fast, so here he goes out to the Honchkrow. I know he's gonna Sucker Punch. I don't have any moves that are like able to resist a Sucker Punch, I guess. So I don't know. I maybe could have switched to Rotom, but I still think it would have done a massive amount of damage, probably over half HP. And you'll see here he gets the Moxie Boost, which uh, I was not expecting this much damage. At this point, everyone in the stream was saying, "Yeah, you've got this, man. Your yeah, Rotom is full HP. There's no way he can kill you." But with the Moxie Boost, you see. Moral of the story, you know, you always frost after dinner until the big boss Pokemon shows up with his fedora and then he just kills your entire family because he's the mob boss. But, you know, what can you do? 
Really awesome battle though, I really enjoyed that and it was really close too. I just really wasn't expecting the Sucker Punch at the end to kill. The, the Honchkrow with the big boss, man. The big boss Honchkrow is way too strong, but yeah. Uh, good game to Hoodlum Scrafty. Again, be sure to check out his channel. And if you enjoyed this battle, be sure to leave a like. I'm gonna work on getting some other Pokemon, I guess. I don't really have that many to choose from and most of the stuff that I do have, EV Bread or IV Train, I say those backwards every time, but... Yeah, most of the stuff that I have, uh, IV Bread and EV Train is kind of standard. Uh, so I'm gonna work on getting some sort of different stuff, hopefully, for you guys in the future. But as for today, that is it for that battle. Uh, look out for another one with another YouTuber tomorrow. See you guys later.